Well, the Griffins are scheduled to play 38 home games this season. Tonight, they'll go out onto the Van Andel Arena ice for the 30th time this year as they take on the Cleveland Monsters for the second time here in downtown Grand Rapids. And it's our game day preview brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union. Well, the Griffins have nine home games remaining, three more against Cleveland, including tonight. Four of them will be against Texas. The Monsters are playing some pretty good hockey these days after dropping nine in a row. They've earned points in eight of their last nine, while the Griffins have lost their last two and dominating the headlines today, roster moves. The Red Wings calling up Tara Hirose, and the Griffins will add two new players, uh, becoming the 38th and 39th different players to wear a Griffins uniform this season. Yeah, uh, and again, you know, it's the nature of the business where we lose a couple guys to Detroit. We're happy for them. Um, uh, we got two guys coming in, Jan Drozd, who we haven't seen too much of. He's in Wilkes-Barre. Uh, Pittsburgh loaned him to us for the rest of the year, so we're going to see what he can do. Um, big body, has some skill. Uh, looking forward to giving him an opportunity here. And then called up Butcher Scafari from Toledo, who is a hard-nosed, kind of a blue-collar, physical, kind of defensive-minded defenseman. Uh, and again, he's played well in Toledo. He des- deserves an opportunity. So we're glad that we're going to give him an opportunity and hope to see what he can do with it. Well, as Coach Simon mentioned, uh, Jan Draws had been playing in Wilkes-Barre, where he had four goals and six assists, 10 points in 23 games. He's a product of Slovenia. Uh, Butra Scafari hails from West Bloomfield, played four years at Michigan State. In fact, was a roommate of Tara Hirose while in East Lansing. Turned pro last season. He played 51 games with Toledo. This year, he'll become another in a long line of walleye to make his Griffins debut here tonight. I'm very excited, especially being for uh, Michigan team. My family's going to come up and see me tonight. Very excited to be called up by Grand Rapids. I've been looking forward to it all year, so I'm excited to hopefully go out there and do my best. Well, defensively, the Griffins have been pretty solid of late. Only 25 goals allowed in their last 11 games. Offensively, they've got a lot of players that they rely on for scoring that are struggling these days. And that's why Riley Barber's return is all the more important. One of the prolific goal scorers in the American Hockey League. Been out nearly two months asking uh, how he's feeling after being thrust into the action and playing a lot of games upon his return. Uh, good, man. I, you know, it was tough there for four games and six nights, but... Uh... You know, I, you know, doing everything I can to recover and hopefully be uh, ready to go this weekend with big game tonight and uh, Sunday. Well, Grand Rapids and Cleveland play for the fifth time tonight. The Griffins are 3-0-1-1 versus the Monsters. All three wins coming in Cleveland, where the Monsters have struggled this year. Only eight wins on home ice versus 12 on the road. In fact, Cleveland has uh, points in 18 to 27 games on four and ice. The Griffins are 500 both home and away. Among uh, the many injured players, Kyle Chris Colo, the most recent, he'll likely be out again tonight. Of course, Tara Hirose, as we mentioned, recalled by Detroit. Don't forget, Sunday, Griffins will be in Chicago, and we hope you'll join us on Wood Radio with pregame coverage at 335.